and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel in the first place. Today we have a Bakugo X former villain listener. Um, this is fan written by Nightingale. The link for their fanfics, their one, um, their one shots will be in the description. Villain, a title you have been given but always hated from the beginning. Won't even define a villain. In this world of fake heroes, any minor inconvenience was a threat. Got framed for transporting illegal drugs? Villain. Stole from overly rich because of the bias economy? Villain. Oh, congratulations, you're now being put on watch. You had joined the League of Villains because it seemed the only path for you. You were raised an assassin with no family, but realized that your morals were the same as any other villains, but the mass genocide was not the way you wanted your voice to be heard. So you ran away from the League of Villains, just like you had with all your other problems. You went around towns pickpocketing and stealing. This is how you lived your entire life, staying away from any social interaction. But it seems today, you had chosen the wrong neighborhood to ransack. You usually went into different neighborhoods, and people seemed to pick on you for being supposedly quirkless, which included yelling various insults at you and other things that hardly had to do with being quirkless. You were doing what you would always do. Your head was down, walking slowly trying to get through the crowd without drawing any attention to yourself. When a bunch of creeps started to pick on you, you paid them no mind at first, but then they really got on your nerves. Then, someone decided to come to your rescue. After your Prince Charming had so amazingly told them off, he had turned towards you, looking shocked, and said, Aren't you that illusion freak from the League of Villains? Sounding slightly upset for no reason. You cleared your throat and said, Correction, I'm the illusion freak that ran away from the League of Villains. Still not making eye contact. Tch, sure you are, you little bitch. I bet the moment I walk away, you're gonna run back to your little League friends. You turned around without missing a beat, and you said, Hey, dumbass, what part of the illusion freak that ran away do you not understand? I wouldn't go back to the league even if I was forced to. The blonde looked at you, shocked that you had sassed him. Tch, whatever. It seemed that he was going to say more, but was cut off by an ear-shattering scream. The blonde snapped his head to where the scream had come from and gave you a sharp glare. What? Hey, what makes you think that was me? The blonde ignored your words, grabbed your wrist, and sped off to where the scream was heard at. Let me go, you oversized half-assed Pomeranian! I have nothing to do with this! This is harassment! The pro shushed you as you approached the area of screams. You were faced with two guys who looked like they were using some mix of illegal drugs. Katsuki had gotten into fighting stance, and you followed suit. So, I guess you're done with blaming me for this incident, huh? A harsh glare from the hero in front of you made you shut your mouth quickly. Bakugo turned back around and assessed the situation. I know my opinion isn't wanted, but I think I know what these guys are on. I thought the police had taken this stuff out of circulation a decade or so ago. It's real nasty stuff. Does this drug have a name? Bakugo asked. You rolled your eyes and responded, I was getting there. It's called Trigger. One of the telltale signs of it is a black tongue. Bakugo cracked his fist and smiled at the thugs. Not a happy smile, but more of a sadistic one. Well then, I guess we gotta beat these bastards up real good to see if you're telling the truth. Rolling your eyes, you agreed. In sync, you both launched yourselves at the thugs before making short work of them. You were both pretty beat up, but you had taken more damage. You thought you were done fighting, but you were wrong. The thug that you were fighting got back up and glared at you. Go to hell. Dodging the thug's attacks, you sprang to your feet, smirked, and said, Nope, I can't go to hell. Satan has a restraining order on me. Then you proceeded to knock him out cold. When you two went to check, they, of course, both had pitch black tongues. Hearing the oh-so-familiar sound of police sirens, you cursed before quickly making your way towards a nearby dark alley. Oi, what the hell do you think you're doing? God, he's persistent. I'm going home. Do you have a problem with that? Pulling out a roll of bandages from a bag you had hidden in the alley wall, your attention shifted from the blonde hero. Wrapping up your bruised knuckles, you glanced at the man, only to be met with the sight of a hero red-faced and staring at you. Like what you see? Take a photo. You stuffed the bandages back into the bag and took a step in his direction. It'll last way longer. Watching as your words processed in Bakugo's mind, you chuckled and pulled on a hoodie you had stolen from a nearby clothes store. The hero's face now rivaled Red Riot's hair. Bakugo started cursing under his breath, mentally beating himself up for letting your words have so much effect on him. You were a former villain for hell's sake. I'll make a deal with you, hero. You let me go, and I'll tell you some important information on Trigger and the League that your little police force only dreams about. You pulled the hood over your face and gave Bakugo a somewhat serious look. This is not gonna work. He's not gonna believe. Okay. 
covering up your surprise to the best of your ability. You gaze search Bakugos for a hint of betrayal. None. What are you waiting for? Get the hell out of here unless you want to get caught by the police. You let out a small chuckle and grinned. See you around, Blondie. Tossing up a folded piece of paper to the blushing blonde, you waved before heading further into the alleyway. As Bakugo lost sight of your retreating form, he glanced at the paper in his fist. Unfolding it, his eyes widened and his blush darkened. Call me. Your number. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed this fanfiction. I just want to say that much. Like, seriously, Nightingale? Great. Love it. Um, also, thank you so much for writing it. I could like not find an ex-former villain and reader for some reason. But, thank you again. I hope you all enjoyed. The Discord server will be in the description. Uh, yeah, as well as the fanfic link and the music. And if you check my comments down below, they will always have what videos I will be posting. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, goodbye!